in a moment, it'll be my great pleasure to present to you perhaps the greatest hero of our time, Edie Windsor. Edie is a woman of Edie is a woman of remarkable courage and conviction, whose life has been characterized by deep integrity and joy and passion, which have animated her activism, including her fight for marriage equality, and made her the Rosa Parks of our movement. Like Rosa Parks, whose conviction gave her the courage to reject the laws that African Americans had to sit in the back of the bus. Edie Windsor's indignation that her country would ignore her marriage to her beloved Thea and treat them as if strangers under the law gave her the courage to stand up and fight against injustice. Rosa Parks refused to stand up to refused to stand up, and Edie Windsor chose to stand up. They're sisters. And like Rosa Parks, who did not suddenly develop a hatred for injustice when she was told to move to the back of the bus, Edie has been a gay rights activist for decades. They're sisters. And Edie Windsor is a sister to us all. Her, her courage is lighting the way to a world where the only difference between gay marriage and straight marriage is the pronouns. Um, she takes on this struggle with joy and passion. Her joy comes from the celebration of our community, for the opportunity to share her delight in the love that she shared with the Aspire, and from knowing how many of us are standing with her. Wait till you meet her and see all the love and passion she has for our community and how brave she is to be carrying our banner. Edie came to be before the Supreme Court challenging the so-called Defense of Marriage Act after 43 years of sharing passion and joy with Thea. A commitment that began, by the way, in 1967 two years before the Stonewall uprisings, at a time when the idea that gays might, marriage was what might marry was sheer fantasy. And during those 40 years of their engagement, they both worked hard and loved hard with a passion that, if you saw the film, you know was a deep passion, um, and engaged with us all in our decades-long and still continuing struggle for justice. Edie and Thea were charter members of the task force, part of the founding group of the New York City Gay Community Center and the Lesbian History Archives, active in EGO, a member of this co coalition, in many roles over many years and worked with SAGE. In 87, she attended the Old Lesbians Organizing for Change Conference. Edie has considered herself an old lesbian that long. <laughs> she was an early branch in a telephone anti-defamation activation tree that came to become GLAD. Incidentally, she and I were on the same branch of that tree. And she supported legally for decades, having supported their first prom event. Um, Edie has marched and demonstrated at City Hall, at the State Capitol, and in Washington. She's been an activist. She was part of the Freedom, Ma Freedom to Marry Week and a pioneer ESPA marriage ambassador. And if Thea were with us ton tonight, and I sure wish she were, she would have one thing to add. She would say that Edie is the smartest person I know. Um, Edie can do anything. Thea, it's true. <laughs> um, Thea, well, she lived a love that was enriched by a passion for Edie, with whom she danced and loved and embraced passion and made a home. And now we all have a passion for this dogged fighter, Edie Windsor. I give you the Rosa Parks of our movement. Edie Windsor. <laughs>